Hey everyone, wanted to bring you another video. Uh, one of the things I had mentioned was going over all of the resources that we have for the separate um, units that we're doing. So I wanted to show you what we are using to go with the Good and the Beautiful Space Science Unit. Um, I just put it into a binder. I took pages that um, wouldn't be cut or used um, in that manner and I just three hole punched them. And then for now, I have things in um, these plastic sleeves so that that way I can prep it before it's time to use it. But we're still doing the marine biology one right now, so I didn't prep it yet. Uh, but I wanted to show you everything that I purchased uh, from thrift books, uh, Facebook Marketplace, Barnes & Noble, all to go with this unit to expand upon it. So the first thing I grabbed was Guide to the Stars, and this is really, really cool. It actually turns, let's see if I can get it to work here. So you can line up, say it is September, and we are at the very end of the month. So if we move it to 8 p.m. on September, we'll say September 29th, it's gonna show you what's in the sky. And so this is facing north, and that's facing south, and this is what you would see. Uh, it also has a lot of information on the back. Um, don't know if you can see that too well. But I thought that was really cool. I found this at Barnes & Noble. It was the last one they had. You can see it's got a little bend in it, but I figured that's no big deal. So really like that. We did also, something I'm not gonna show you, but uh, we have them, is this past summer when we had that comet coming by, we went out and bought a really good pair of astronomy binoculars. And so we have those to be able to observe some things in the night sky. It gives us a really crystal clear view of the moon. You can see the craters on the moon. It's really cool. Kaylee really wants a telescope, so we'll see, maybe for Christmas. Uh, so we're gonna jump into the books that we have. This is the Home Reference Library Astronomy. It's quite thick. And to give you an idea what it looks like inside, it's a super cute little book, but a lot of really cool information. And then we have a Cool Kids Field Guide to Space. Uh, this one I got off of Facebook um, Homeschool Curriculum for Sale group forget what the title of the group is called. Uh, but it flips up like this, and some of the pages actually flip open, and it's got lots of different information in it. So I thought that that one was pretty cool, and it's pretty small, but it's got a lot of neat little flaps and stuff. And So I try not to focus on specifically um, grade level. There's research that has shown that even like picture books are beneficial even up through high school because a lot of times um, you know we're focused on comprehension okay and while we can push our kids to read and understand more it's easier for them to comprehend information when they're doing like research projects and stuff like that if it's kind of in a simpler form and that's that's what emerging research is showing so i try to incorporate picture books as well even though she is clearly way above that but she enjoys them and why not uh, another thing i got the usborn official astronauts handbook this one i just thought was a cute little book to give an idea of what it's like up in space then we have a pocket guide to the stars and planets. Um, this one, I'm not sure who it's by, but this one's a really beautiful book. I mean, look at some of these images. So just another beautiful resource to have. This one is our solar system. This I actually got in the Target dollar spot. It's level three, it's clearly below her. However, it actually has a lot of information in it. And so, like I was saying before, this is one of those where, you know, lower is okay. It'll still give her content and information surrounding the topic that we're studying. This one I purchased right from Usborne. It is the Stargazer's Journal. And I figured when we start doing our unit, she can do some pages in this. 
maybe plot some stars or some things like that. Then we have Exploring the Night Sky, and this is the Equinox Astronomy Guide for Beginners. And this one, again, has beautiful photographs in it. And it's full of information. This one is Ripley's Space, believe it or not. I try to incorporate some fun things that aren't necessarily just educational. So this one has lots of cool facts in it. And most kids love books like this. I know mine does, like Almanacs and Guinness World, of, um, Guinness World Records. She loves all that stuff. So found this one and grabbed that. This one's really cool. This is 3D Explorer Solar System, A Journey to the Planets and Beyond. I actually have this in a few different topics. When I saw it, I knew I had to get it. Uh, so the first couple pages are just flat. However, when you get a little further in, you get 3D pages. And I just thought that that was the coolest thing. So we got that one. Next, we have DK Eyewitness Astronomy. I think most homeschoolers are familiar with DK Eyewitness, uh, but beautifully laid out so that it's easy for them to understand the information and learn from it. it has some nice photographs in it. So that's another one that we're adding. This one is Space, the uh, Definitive Visual Catalog of the Universe, and this one's by Scholastic. I can't remember if I got this one at Barnes & Noble, can't remember, but this one is beautiful. I mean, look at that full of beautiful photographs and a ton of information. So I think that's a really cool one. This one I didn't purchase specifically for this unit. We already had this one, but this is an Usborne flat book. Now, I'm, most people are thinking, oh my goodness, eighth grade flat book. These are not your typical infant flat books. They just have an abundance of information in them. Um, and it just makes it a little bit more fun Let's face it, kids are kids, they still enjoy things like that. And as you can see, it has a ton of information in it. The illustrations are beautiful. I mean, I mean, look how sweet these are. So still plenty of information to gain from this and adds a little bit of enjoyment and holds on to their childhood a little bit longer, which I thoroughly am all for. This one is Reader's Digest Pathfinder's Space. This one I believe I got off of the uh, Facebook homeschool groups. This one's kind of similar to the DK Eyewitness. It's a little bit more colorful, but still lots of beautiful photos and illustrations, lots of wonderful information. This is Children's Night Sky Atlas. This one I actually got off of eBay. Um, someone was selling this in one of the Facebook uh, homeschool groups and I missed the sale, but I knew I wanted it. And I'm gonna show you why. So, it's not your typical book. It has wonderful photographs and beautiful information. However, there are some pages that have these overlays. Let's see if I can get the glare off. There we go. And so you can see the constellation overlay, which I thought was really cool. You can see there's multiples of them. Sorry, the book's a little, a little awkward to hold. So I really liked that one. This one is kind of a little bit simpler. Uh, but it's 30-second astronomy, the 50 most mind-blowing discoveries in astronomy, each explained in half a minute. I just thought that that would be a really cool addition. So it just has a lot of information in it. 
And again, I like to keep a variety of resources for her. This one is DK Space, a visual encyclopedia. Um, this one is similar to some of the other ones that we have. I'm sure I could have skipped some of these, but I'm a sucker for beautiful books and Kaylee loves space. But as you can see, they're beautiful photographs, lots of color, it's interesting to look at. So that's another one. This one I picked up off of Amazon. Oh goodness, I gotta back up, that's a big one. This is Planetarium. It's a part of the Welcome to the Museum collection. This one is illustrated. You probably won't be able to see much of me, but there are some beautiful illustrations in here. And I just love how it was laid out. So that's another one that we added. This one I picked up at Barnes & Noble. This is actually a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. This is DK Stars and Planets. This is a very thick, heavy book, but it is beautiful. Like I said, I probably could have skipped a few of these, but you never have too many books. But look at some of the photographs in here. I mean, that's, look at that, that's Mars. How beautiful is that? So I really enjoy this one. We, when we saw this one at Barnes and Noble, she asked for it and I mean, how do you say no to that? This one I recently got from Usborne. It's Dr. Maggie's Grand Tour of the Solar System. This one is super cute. I've got some cute illustrations in it. Also has some photographs, has lots of information. So that's another one that we really like. Then we have Glow in the Dark Constellations, a field guide for young stargazers. And this one talks about constellations. And she loves looking for constellations. This is Usborne Discovery Astronomy. I purchased this one right from Usborne. Funny story, I ended up with two of these. I bought a used one off of the Facebook Marketplace or Facebook homeschool groups, and I bought a brand new one too. That's, no, that's when you know you've bought too many books. So this one's a little smaller and it's a little more condensed, but the photographs and illustrations are still beautiful. Lots of amazing content. So that's another great one. And last, but certainly not least, is Galaxy Girls, 50 Amazing Stories of Women in Space. And I loved this one because it shows that, you know, women have made tons of contributions to science, but so many times we don't hear about it. And it's not something that's part of like mainstream curriculum. And so I wanted to incorporate more of that. Um, we're doing the same with um, black historical figures and women as well. I just, I want her to have as much knowledge as possible. So I thought that this one was really cool. And this one I picked up at Barnes and Noble. So those are the uh, resources that we have for the unit. I do also plan to add on some hands-on activities. I know she wants to make a model solar system. I haven't purchased the stuff for that yet because like I said, we're still doing marine biology. This is gonna be the next unit that we do. So once we get closer to the end of marine bi biology, I'll start ordering all the supplies for that. Um, and I wanted to try to find some other uh, hands-on activities. I do know that The Good and the Beautiful does come with hands-on activities, but I wanted to find some more like art type projects. She loves to do hands-on art projects that was instilled in her from her elementary school. So I want to add some more of that. So if any of you have any suggestions uh, for, you know, activities that we can add, art projects, things like that, please definitely comment below, shoot me a message through Instagram, any of those I would be totally welcome to um, hear any of the ideas that you have. And if you have any um, other books or resources that you think would be really great to add that maybe might fill in a hole that we have, let me know as well. Like I said, we are a first time homeschooling family, so I am welcome to all of the help 
and feedback that I can get. I want to make sure that I, you know, give her the best that I can. I will try to link all of these books below in the comments um, and the, um, the star chart if I can find them. If I couldn't find them, then they won't be there. Uh, but I should be able to find a good portion of these. So I'll go ahead and link them down below so it'll be a little bit easier for you to find if you're interested in adding them to your uh, library as well. Uh, I think our next video, I'm probably gonna go over maybe another unit to show our resources for that. We have um, mammals, we have energy, we are also doing ancient Egypt, and I have tons of hands-on activities for that. So I um, was thinking about maybe doing that. If you have anything else that you'd like to see specifically, let me know. If not, I'll just continue to crank out what I can, and yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope you will hit the like, leave me a comment, hit subscribe, and stick around. Uh, give me any feedback that you've got, and I hope that you have a great evening. It's, it's evening here. As you can tell, there's no sunlight. Um, but I hope you will come back and join us for more little moments. Thanks so much. Bye.